The Terre Haute House was a dominant landmark in downtown Terre Haute for many years. But most probably don't know the real history behind all the hotels at the corner of 7th and Wabash. Take a look. When the topic of Terre Haute's history comes up, one of the most important locations is downtown at 7th and Wabash. That's right, the Hilton Garden Inn stands there now, but that corner, well, it has a very long and interesting history of hotels. Let's talk about the original Terre Haute house. No, not this one or even this one. That's right, the Terre Haute house that most of us knew, the one that was torn down back in 2005, wasn't even the original. Most people don't realize that there have been four hotels at the corner of 7th and Wabash Avenue, the crossroads of America. When the first hotel was built at 7th and Wabash, it was technically in the middle of nowhere. The very first was built by Chauncey Rose in the 1830s, and he called it the Prairie House because it was way out in the prairie away from town. We could talk Terre Haute House history all day. And trust me, we have much more over on our website. But this building, the one most of us remember standing there, it was packed with stories. A lot of entertainers stayed there, um, writers, uh, James Jones, who wrote From Here to Eternity, was uh, a guest there often. There were also some larger than life, but unconfirmed stories from the Terre Haute House. Guests like Al Capone and John Dillinger, but there's one urban legend that caught our eye, so we asked Mary Lee about it. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. Uh, but there was uh, a story that there was uh, a rifle that was used actually in the assassination of JFK that uh, turned up in the in the room one of the rooms of the Terre Haute house but again I don't believe that that has been substantiated completely. Now we've been working on that Kennedy story for a while and let me tell you we've hit a lot of roadblocks but we're gonna keep digging on that one. For sure but all of that leaves one question for such an iconic Terre Haute landmark and memory for a lot of people what happened? Why did it stand empty for so long? That's a great question. And did you know there's a big piece of the Terre Haute House's history that's still used in a popular Terre Haute business? We've got information on that and so many photos over on our website. There really are some amazing photos. And one more thing, we want to hear your stories. Use the reported feature. Tell us your favorite memories from the Terre Haute House. And I know there are a lot of memories out there. Yeah, there sure are.